Now we are using an HTTP client class that is part of the Aurelia HTTP client module. It's not part of the core framework. The HTTP client is optional, but you can use this component or really any component if you want to make HTTP requests from your application. You're not forced to use HTTP client, but the HTTP client does provide an API to send get, post, put, and delete messages to the server as well as supporting JSONP and the ability to configure headers, like authorization headers with tokens. And we'll see some more of these capabilities as we move through the course. Here in our view model, we are directly instantiating a new instance of HTTP client and sending off a GET request for movies.json. I could also replace this with a call to my real API, which is slash API slash movies that will work for this project. But what I really want to focus on is how to decouple this view model from its direct dependency on HTTP client. The core Aurelia framework provides an inversion of control container with dependency injection features. Dependency injection is a technique that allows you to follow the dependency inversion principle. That's a design pattern that you can research here on Pluralsight. But the quick story is that this container knows how to construct objects like my view model and create the dependencies that this object needs by passing those dependencies as constructor parameters so that I don't have to instantiate them directly inside of my view model. So now instead of having a hard dependency on HTTP client, someone's going to pass me the HTTP client that's going to be used. That will allow me to configure the container with different types of HTTP clients if I need it. Perhaps I could write an HTTP client that provides some caching algorithms or manages authorization tokens. Then I could configure the dependency injection container with my HTTP client and have it automatically passed into this constructor. And inside of a unit test, I could pass any type of object I want be it a fake or a mock or a stub. There are many benefits to dependency injection, and again, check out the design patterns at Pluralsight. Now, in order to get this to work in ES6, with JavaScript being a dynamic language and not having rich metadata available via reflection like you have in other languages, we are going to need to add some metadata to our class to allow Aurelia's container to inject the proper component. One way to do this using straight up ES6 code is to add a static method to my class, it's called inject. So yes, a class can have static methods in ES6, and the inject method is a method the dependency injection container, or what I'd prefer to call the DI container, the inject method is a method the DI container will look for to retrieve metadata about what needs to be injected. What components does this class need to be constructed? So I will return an array, because there could be multiple constructor parameters. I'll return an array that contains the class name HTTP client, that symbol. The DI container will look up, what do I use for this particular symbol, then create that object and inject an instance into the constructor. So I should be able to save app.js and let's just refresh to make sure that still works. And it does, but let me show you another approach. Now we're going to use another feature from Aurelia framework. I am going to import something known as inject from the Aurelia framework. And inject is not a class. Inject is what we call a decorator. In other languages, this might be referred to as an attribute or an annotation. Decorators are a feature of ECMAScript 7, so an even newer version of the JavaScript specification, and they're quite powerful. They are not static pieces of metadata like you have in .NET. A decorator can execute code against its target. In this case, the target is this class app. And what inject will do is modify this class for me to provide the metadata that this class needs HTTP client injected into the constructor or some component that is registered as implementing the HTTP client API. Now, in order to get this to work, there is one more little change I'm going to need to make. And that change is inside of config.js. Config.js, you'll remember, contains all the mappings so that the module loader can find the appropriate components when we ask for something from Aurelia Framework or Aurelia HTTP client. And up here at the top, it also contains some options for the transpiler that we are using, Babel. This decorator that we are using, as I mentioned, it is a feature of ECMAScript 7. And by default, Babel won't do anything with ECMAScript 7 features. We need to explicitly turn them on inside the optional section of this Babel options. And I just need to tell Babel to please support ES7 decorators. And that feature should be enabled now. I'm going to save all my files, refresh the browser. And now we're still getting our movie information, but we are injecting the HTTP client that we need. 
So our view model is now just a little more flexible and a little more testable. And there's a couple different approaches to providing the metadata that the container needs to do the injection. I'm going to be using ES7 decorators, specifically this inject decorator that the Aurelia framework provides.